Okay, and so um, the Singwin exercise for t-test and delta index can be found in the same um, pantherlink file, but we're going to be using depression data. So if you follow the link to depression data and save it to your desktop again, we can open up Singwin and open the file drop down from our desktop, search for depression, here it is, depression.dbf, and here's our data. And the first thing you might want to do is look at your line graphs. So line chart, baseline to intervention. And we could see that there may be an issue with autocorrelation here, so we should check it to see if it's statistically significant. So I'll close this out, click statistics, autocorrelation, baseline, and our p-value is above 0.05, so we're clear here, and then close this out, and check for autocorrelation in the intervention phase, and we're also clear, so nothing to worry about. So back to your worksheet, it says the baseline for number six, is it autocorrelated? No. Number seven, the intervention data is not autocorrelated. So our next step is to do number eight and check to see if there's a statistically significant reduction in his depression from baseline to the intervention phase. So the way that you can do that is click statistics. The first one is t-test. So do intervention to baseline. And we can see that the p-value here reaches a level of statistical significance. And this is a different p-value than the autocorrelation p-value. This p-value is for statistical significance, and also the same standards, if it's below 0.05, it's statistically significant. So in this situation, um, our p-value is below 0.05, and we've reached the level of statistical significance. Um, you can also see that Singwin will print you off the mean and standard deviation of the baseline and intervention phase. Um, so here we can see that there was a statistically significant reduction from the baseline mean of depression score of 30.8, um, to the intervention phase of 25.1, and that reached the level of statistical significance at p equals 0.023. And there's just one last part, um, the delta index. So um, for the delta index, it says use Singwin um, to test for the effect size of the intervention. Um, and this is also really easy to do. So I'm going to show you how to do it in Singwin. I'm going to close this out and click statistics, effect size, D index and baseline to intervention. And following up our statistically significant um, t test, we can say that there's a 42.1% decrease in average depression score during the intervention phase. Um, so the t test tells us whether or not there was a statistically significant difference, and the d index tells us the strength of that difference.